The average American commute is about 18 miles one way. But imagine driving to work and back every day without plugging in or buying gas, but instead parking in the sun. While it may sound futuristic, Aptera Motors is working to make that a reality. But what happens if it's a cloudy day or if you park under a tree? Hello, I'm Sinue from DroneQuote. And today we're talking about Aptera because if you ask some people, they say the idea is a scam. While the concept of a solar powered car sounds innovative, it's not new. Take a guess when the first solar car was made, 1962. If the first solar car were a person, it'd qualify for social security. It was made from a modified 1912 Baker electric vehicle with a range of 50 miles. Needless to say, it didn't work out. So what difference does 62 years make and can Aptera harness enough sunshine to drive around without plugging in? First, we must understand who Aptera Motors is to get an idea of the viability. They actually started in 2005, but at the time, it proved even more difficult to launch an electric car company than it is today, especially a car powered by solar panels. Their timing was off because solar adoption for the home was barely in its infancy. To their credit, they did last five years before closing their doors in 2011. But what did Chumba Wamba sing? They took that song to heart because the company's founders relaunched in 2019 with a vision to make the most energy efficient vehicle available. And get this, they're also building their cars in Carlsbad, California. So how does little Aptera Motors compare to better known EV companies? Well, for one, the car can generate its own electricity. For any other electric vehicle, you must modify the car with deployable solar panels like this option from Dart Solar. But even without solar cells, the car's battery packs a punch in size and range, offering a 100 kilowatt hour battery good for up to 1,000 miles of range, all of which power three motors integrated into three wheels. Yes, it is a three-wheeled car. The basic model can do zero to 60 in about six seconds. However fast the car is, Aptera's path has been challenging with a past bankruptcy and ongoing concerns about its financial health. Can their solar car be the key to Aptera's turnaround? If there's one thing that solves many problems, it's money. But unlike Tesla, Aptera didn't earn billions in grants from the government because their vehicle only had three wheels, and apparently four wheels were a stipulation of grant funding. But they've recently raised $33 million through car deposits, and they've raised over $100 million in the last two years through other means. This money will help them through the initial production phases, hopefully resulting in vehicles to market. Now, besides the fact that you can charge an Aptera with the sun and still look cool, they have a unique thing going on when you compare them to the likes of Tesla. That's the right to repair. While most auto manufacturers, Tesla included, don't want you fiddling with your car yourself, Aptera is taking the opposite approach. They openly encourage you to work on your vehicle, no more waiting around or tracking down answers or parts like long lost treasures. Just simplicity and quality. That's the approach Aptera will offer their customers. And as a bonus feature, because it's a three wheeled vehicle, you save 25% on tires. If you know anything about EVs, you know that they go through tires. Now let me ask you, do you think that Aptera will succeed with substantial funding secured and a self-charging, super efficient, three-wheeled solar car? You've got to admit their vision is bold. It's a very bold plan, it's amazing. With thousands of people saying, sign me up, there's excitement around what could be the most efficient vehicle ever. Now, Sandy Monroe, an automotive industry icon, is all in. He thinks Aptera isn't just launching a new car, they're kicking off an entirely new industry. And he's betting they'll even get more orders than expected. That's some serious confidence right there, but while Aptera's design is turning heads, not everyone is convinced. Its wide body and two-seater configuration prompts doubts, especially when compared to established brands like Tesla. Additionally, while the inclusion of solar panels is innovative, there's debate about whether 
they're genuinely groundbreaking or merely a superficial feature. Critics point to the hurdles solar cars face. It is a list that would make anyone pause. But Aptera is changing the narrative with their design focused on efficiency and aerodynamics, 700 watts of solar cells for an extra 40 miles a day, and a commitment to rigorous safety and crash testing. Besides the boatloads of money and its innovative approach to electric vehicles, Aptera seems to have a lot more going for it than it did during its first go around. Plus, the market for solar and electric vehicles is far more ripe than it was in 2005. From what we've gathered, it's clear Aptera is not a scam. Instead, it's an ambitious startup with big dreams. Remember, Tesla began as a startup in 2003, and look where they are now, one of the top car brands globally. Who's to say Aptera can't follow in those footsteps? What's your take? If you're considering an electric car, they can definitely take a bite out of your fuel budget. But the Aptera takes it to another level. A good tool you can use for your EV calculations is the Drone Quote Electric Vehicle Calculator, which tells you how much it would cost to drive an EV, how much it saves you, and how many solar panels you need for it. Plus, it's free. But let me wrap up with this one question. How did we do on this video? If you enjoyed it and would like to support our channel, please consider subscribing if you feel we earned it. Now let's cross our fingers and hope that this unique and innovative car makes it to market. Besides all it has going for it, there's reason to believe that the electric vehicle tax credit will apply to purchasing a three-wheeled Aptera. That can mean up to $7,500 off the purchase price. To understand better how that works, check out our 2024 video on the EV tax credit. Until next time, sayonara.